Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can do calculations inside a pivot table. So first of all, I'm going to create a small pivot table. So I'm in the data here, as you can see on the left. Up to the Insert tab and select Pivot Table. It will select the range, which is what I want. Sometimes you might need to name an area, but that's okay. I want this to be existing worksheet and just for this little example I'll put it into cell J, uh, G1 okay there's my pivot table and now I want to put some information in the pivot table so let's go for courses in rows that gives me a list of courses I also want courses into values which is going to count the courses and then I want cost in there as well which gives me the cost I'll click on value field settings set that to accounting so that shows me okay in pounds and i'll have a filter in location so there there you go and i'll just rename some of these columns products um you can't put course because that's the name of the column but you can put courses so with an s on it and likewise you can put costs with an s on it and then we can just double click that a little bit and bring that tidily in. So that's what I want. Now, let's say, in fact, instead of cost, let's call it cost price. It's a cost price. So I want a sale price and the sale price is going to be 10% added on to the cost price. So to do a calculation inside a pivot table, you need to go into the pivot table analyze tab. And then you need to go into this area, field and item sets, calculated field, like so. And then we'll call it sale price. And it's a case of just working out what you want that to be. So it's cost. If I double click on cost, it'll come up there. Times 1.1, as simple as that. So that's just going to be a 10% added on. Click OK. It comes up with sum of sales price. And you can see that. Now, if I over type that, um, what I can do is just get rid of that bit in front put a space at the end of it so it still allows me to do that sale price and then you can bring that in a bit as well now if you want another one let's do a profit so that'll be sale price minus cost price so back in there calculated field so this is going to be profit and it's going to be sale price minus cost okay and again you can over type that just get rid of the sum of bit you don't have to do this but i always think it looks a little bit tidy put a space at the end and check that now obviously this is a pivot table so if this information the source data increases let's increase that dramatically we have to refresh this data for that to pull it through and then update this information. I'll just wait for that. There we go. So if that's the case, this is the profit you make on that that transaction or that number of courses. If I just Control Z twice to undo that, we're back to where we were, like that. So that was on a calculated item. If I go back into a calculated field, there is a calculated item that's grayed out there. Now, if I click on one of these and go back into there, you can see that that's no longer grayed out. So you can actually use this information to do a calculated item. Now, I'm just going to go into a different tab to show you an example of that. So here we've got some car types, which is the source name is department. If you can see that, I've just changed the label to car type. And then we've got the sum for each month. But I've got this bonus at the bottom, and if I click on to field and item sets, it's grayed out no longer because I've clicked on it. But if I click away from it for a second and go back in there, it's grayed out. So you physically have to be in this area for it to be active. So if I go for Fiat, for example, and then do that little sum there, item, it's going to be, so I'll call it Fiat bonus. 
and then you just do your your sum so if I go um, fiat times 1.1 for example that'll do okay it puts the fiat line in there and adds 10% on to those figures there so that's that is just 10% of that figure this is added 10% on that figure so it's, it's up to you which one you're going to use but what you don't want to be doing if I go back to the exercise one uh, practice one should I say is you don't want to be doing formulas outside of this so like equals that because look at that now you've got all that let's go divided by 10 just as a simple formula because even though that has worked when you pull that down it doesn't work because it's the same all the way down because that is looking at access you'd need that one to look at Excel you'd have to manually change it also if you do a filter where access isn't part of the end product like there's no access course there you're getting ref 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 there so that is not the way to do it if you're going to be using filters although you can do it takes a little a little bit longer you just change that to Excel so I'll just do this first one so you can see only ever do this if I wasn't going to do a filter and it's a static list this is a static pivot table uh, but otherwise I would always go inside the pivot table to do the formulas and that's the way I recommend that you do do it so hopefully that was of use for you if it is thank you for your time don't forget to subscribe and like catch you on the next one